Hi, I'm Lily, and it's easier than you think to upcycle your old jeans. Today we're going to be doing a technique really popular in the 70s. We're bringing it back. It's called panelling. The idea behind it is that you can use it to resize and reshape your jeans by cutting them and adding in uh, material from other pieces of clothing. What I'm going to do is just going to measure from here to the end and just make sure that it's even on both sides. The saying is always measure twice, cut once. Next I'm taking a pair of scissors, they're pretty sharp, and I'm going to open up the outside seam and I'm making sure I'm cutting exactly close to the seam. Now the leg is open, I'm going to go in and I'm going to just cut that seam out and you should have like two nice clean lines to work with on both sides. When I get to the top I'm just going to do a diagonal cut through it so that it lays flat. we need to do is a little bit of maths to work out how much material we need to fill the flare that we want. In order to have a flare circumference, so the total um, length around the bottom of the uh, leg hole, what you need is to work out how much your original circumference was, which was 30 and how much then you need to add. 56 minus 30 is 26. The new um, material that you need to add in is 26, which means that um, each triangle needs to have a base of 13, so that when you add up that base plus the base of the second one plus the original trouser base, you should have a flare circumference of 56. So math lesson over, it's now time to cut the triangle panels out of the pale blue jeans. If you're doing this, you could be using scrap fabric, an old dress, an old t-shirt, and I'm going to salvage the top half. I can turn them into shorts. I'm gonna be using the bottom half for the panels. I do want to give myself a little bit of seam allowance. I'm gonna measure from here to about 40 centimeters. If you remember, we cut 37, so that gives me about an inch, three centimeters. And obviously we do want it to be 13 across, so this is over that, so that gives us plenty of seam allowance as well when we sew it in. That's where I'm going to put my first pin, is just lining up bottom. Line up how thick we want that kick flare to be in a triangle shape and then we just keep pinning up and along. Here is the point where it becomes the sharp end of the triangle. The original seam continues. So what we want is to put a pin in there as well and see how that's gonna lay against the leg. So then we've got one at the top of the leg, we've got one at the bottom, and then we've got some in the middle as well. You would start here, you would sew along. What I'm gonna do is turn this leg the other way around so we can see what it looks like now that it's all been pinned in. That's the panel. I repeat the process on the other side and then I'm going to try it on and then if we're happy with how it looks we can sew. What I do like about what's going on here 
size of the flare is really good. I think the way that the fabric is, is fitting is really good. One thing that I don't like is how basically when you're wearing it, the front is so jean shaped that it kind of just looks like you're wearing 2D jeans. I want to try and basically break up that kind of silhouette here. I think what I'm going to do is cut a bit more of a funky pattern that will kind of break up some of the kind of blockiness. panels and we also have jeans cut out in zigzags with one panel pinned in. Now I've pinned that together and I've tried it on and I'm happy with it so I'm going to go ahead and repeat on the back half and then also on the other leg then we get ready to sew. My plan for the triangles I'm going to stitch with a, a zigzag stitch over the edges here in a standout colour, it will be more of a feature. If you've just done a straight cut for your panel, then you don't need to bother doing that. You can just do a straight line stitch all the way and that will be much more simple and much more quick. I'm going to sew one, show you how it looks, and then I'll finish up the rest. Let's get sewing. But now I can talk to you about finishing edges. The bottom part of the flare, so the, the bit that's going to be pointing towards the ground, it's just the raw cut edge with a bit of fraying. So denim doesn't really fray that much, so I'm not going to bother to hem it by kind of folding over and stitching. I'm just going to leave it raw and I'm going to uh, fray it a little bit more with my scissors. So the first portion of stitching looks like this. You can see that it's kind of contrast against the black with the white thread and I've used a zigzag stitch so it kind of has a, a bit of character to it. Um, and then the idea is that I repeat that on this side and then all the other four sides as well. If you're trying to hide it, I would, I would have used a black, I'm trying to kind of make it stand out and look a bit kind of rustic. I will show you the finished product when I'm done. So this is the finished look. You've got the split in the side on the outside and also on the inside. I paired it with some high boots and a kind of blue matching cardigan. Thank you so much for watching me upcycle some jeans. I just wanted to say some last top tips that I thought of that I hadn't foreseen beforehand. The first thing was I wasn't planning on putting the zigzags in but I actually really liked the way they looked. If you wanted to just keep the straight cut, I would actually recommend cutting up the front of the leg rather than the sides. Cut down the front and back of the leg and that will mean that the panel gets inserted into the front so that you don't have that straight block of colour all the way down. The second thing is what to do with your scraps that aren't big enough to really do anything with. What I tend to do is use them for nail varnish remover pads instead of buying cotton pads you can like reuse them wash them and then the last thing is i used a sewing machine if you don't have one i think this is completely possible to do sewing by hand using a blanket stitch and some thick thread so that it shows up i think it'll be a really nice look as well i hope you liked it hopefully i'll be back soon with some more ideas on what you can do with your old clothes or your thrift shop finds Ooh.